Shot. I'm your host, Donald Washington. I'm going to bring you guys to 15-year-old Sincere Cole. 2400 block of West Marquette, Southside Chicago, February 12th. Was hit 24 times. I'm talking about a young man, 15 years old, 80 pounds, soaking wet. Now, I brought you guys the other day, literally two days ago. Another 15 and 16, the victims are getting younger and younger, direct result of young men know, and men knowing that they could get away with it. Even on camera, they could get away with it. And the victims are getting younger and younger. I'm going to show you guys. Story's going to read to Sid Cole, Chicago team. Hit 24 times, lost his mom early in a CTA train crash. Years earlier, I brought you guys that story. In 2019, Philon Smith, who is his mom, he lost his mom two years ago, two and a half years ago on the CTA train. He also lost his cousin, Keel Addison, who was only 22 years old, on the 4th of July. No suspects, no motive, no clue. Somebody just walked up to her and boom. Brandy Smith will actually know. Uh, she reached out to me, and I interviewed her a few times. Um, she lost her mom. She lost her sister, who was Felon Smith. She lost her daughter, who was Akila Addison. Now she lost her nephew, who is Sincere Cole. I'm going to bring you guys to out here where it happened at. This is the 2400 block of West Marquette. It happened right outside this Shell gas station. Right over there on that sidewalk. However, I'm going to bring you guys what I see um, out here in this vicinity. This is the Shell gas station. Of course, you know, I am always see what they see. And I see what they see. We're giving them a front row seat. We're giving them a front row seat. This is a camera right here. If you guys didn't see it. I'm going to pause it right there. That's a camera. Um, I'm going to turn it around. I actually want to see what type of cameras. That's a red light camera. They miss nothing. If you run a red light, please believe. Even if you stop fast and go, you're getting a camera. Judge told me, oh, that's in real time. We're filming. So we're paused. It. All right, so there's cameras right here on the uh, Shell gas station. Cameras right there. Camera right there. Have it right on the side, right there on the um, sidewalk. All right. How do you shoot this young man 24 times? You cowardly. This this young man couldn't have weighed 80 to 100 pounds. Y'all couldn't get out and scrap with that young man? They're saying young man never gangbang, never nothing. But... Some of these communities, some of these communities, some of them, Inglewood, already five murders. Grand Crossing, five. Austin, eight. I think last year, 2021 in Austin, they ended up with, I think it was 96. I think it was 96, Austin, in 2021. And one community ended up with 96 people. Inglewood, Grand Crossing, Garfield Park, uh, zero now, but please believe when it get hot. Roseland, two, um, our aggression, eight. Some of these communities, for real, it's time just no help is coming. A lot of them being gentrified, property values getting smashed. I would say... Call your realtor, move now. But I, honestly, I'm going to rephrase it. Before you call your realtor, move, then call your realtor. Say, hey, I got a house. Oh, you want to give it free? Yeah, all right, cool. Free. Take it. Have it. Gone. I'm also bringing you guys. Edwan Wilson, 21 years old, was hit on a 5900 block of West Madison. This is Austin. This is Austin, West Side, Chicago. February 13th, as soon as I Googled it, first thing I pulled up, first thing you see, when you Google it, go to Maps, first thing you're going to see, it's the 
first thing you're going to see. Brazen enough. Nobody even is worried about the cameras. Nobody's even looking, worried. And the victims are getting younger and younger. He's 21 years old. Had his entire life ahead of him. Um, I'm also bringing you guys Miracle Cotton, 23 years old. On the 4800 block of South Wales in Phillip Park, South Side, Chicago. This happened on February 11th. Story is going to read that one hit, one injured in a drive-by Chicago, South Side, Chicago, police say. Now, this is what the police say. They're going to say, Chicago police have identified the gunman who hit 24, 23-year-old uh, Chicago woman. It happened around 4 p.m. Friday, West 48th Place in South Wales Street, Chicago, South Side. The story's also going to read that they're saying that the woman was sitting in an SUV with another man when the car pulled up and someone inside fired. The woman was later identified as Miracle Cotton, was struck in the torso, taken to the University of Chicago Hospital. However, um, her family, somebody is saying, listen, legal help firm has wrong information. My little cousin and her guy was not sitting in the car, so please stop making negative comments about the situation. Our family already going through a very heartbreaking time right now, so if y'all don't have anything positive to say, stop uh, things to share. Please stop commenting, period. People, it's hard enough on us. Thank you so much to the ones that are sending love and prayers. We appreciate it. A lot of people, um, her family was saying, hey, she wasn't sitting in no car. And that's what the news is putting out. So everybody else was putting that as well. I'm glad I read her comment because I would have been putting out that she was sitting in the car. Um, one thing I noticed, the news get a lot of stuff wrong. The news get a lot of stuff wrong. And the local bloggers or vloggers, bloggers, get this stuff from the news. And then we pass off. Um, wrong information some of the time and people were like yo and they're heated so um, they're saying she wasn't sitting in the car however Chicago Philly Baltimore it's not just here it's all over the country St. Louis um, Detroit LA it's all over the country and it's showing no signs of letting up it's getting worse and worse to my own girl Brandy, um, you know, she has a GoFundMe. Um, I need to show her GoFundMe. Oh, wait a minute, I did have it. So I believe this to be um, Miracle Cotton's. This is her GoFundMe here, and it's going to read. It's going to read another mother, daughter, sister, cousin, um, friend. Gone due to Chicago violence. She was out just working, trying to make a living for our granddaughter, her daughter. I, be I believe this is the mother or father of her. Miracle loved her daughter, Milan, Milani, more than life itself, and will give her the world. She meant the world to her family, friends. My wife and I need help and support to continue to make sure that our granddaughter, baby Milani, just made four months old, and now she is without a mother. We're going to need help with clothes, milk, diapers, and child care. Our hearts are torn, and we are devastated, beyond devastated. She was taking away us the worst way we don't know how to feel. Our beloved miracle was love. Milani was best way. It takes a village, absolutely. Takes the village, so village, we need help, support, and donations. So I'm gonna try to link this. Um, Brandy also has a, um, a GoFundMe for her nephew. This is the uh, GoFundMe for the young man, Sincere. I'm um, Brandy Mark, my nephew, uh, Sincere Cole, son of Alliance Smith, mother, who was Chicago CTA platform 2019. Um, 
Shell gas station 24 times individual while leaving the gas station to return home. This tragedy left our family in a huge bind. We are pleading to those who are able to assist for donations for the funeral burial arrangements. We sincerely thank you in advance. He looks 11 years old, which he probably was in that picture, but wow. He still looks that, you know, this was two years ago. This was when he was 13 with his mom. Couldn't imagine how cowardly you have to be to actually have to pick up a gun against a young defenseless 15-year-old. Lot of I got a lot of young cats watch my shows and saying the other, the other 15, oh, he was the ops. So he's the ops. That means you have to, you couldn't jump out. Y'all can't man up. We are looking at the cowardliest age group in America. Wow. I'm going to call it what it is. Somebody, I, I think FBG Duck said, where your purse at? Because that's, that's exactly where your purse at. If you can't get out and fight, y'all was so cowardly. I wouldn't even call it young men that did this. I would call it young, 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 young ladies. Because if you was cowardly and you can't fight somebody 80 pounds, help it make sense. Yes, where your purse at? Because if you can't get out and fight a young 15-year-old, you are a coward times a thousand. Yes, where your skirt at? Pull your skirt up and man up and fight. Anyway, make sure you guys like, comment, let me know what you think about this video. Peace, peace.